Okay, go ahead. Okay, so what you're looking at is a modular computer. It's a three-board motherboard design, uh, designed to make uh, basically the computer obsolescence go away. So as new technology comes out, we can replace this backplane card with uh, you know USB 3.0 or whatever new interface has been introduced into the market. So you don't have to throw away your old computer every time something new comes out. So the consumer can replace it themselves? Yes. Yep. It's very easy. There's four screws on the product. Take out the four screws, slide out the boards, pop in your new board, slide it back in, you're good to go. And like, what kind of chip manufacturers are you working with? Uh, we're working with both AMD. Uh, we've got an Intel design as well. Uh, we're releasing AMD as our first uh, product to the market. Uh, we'll be at CES in January. We won an Innovations Award down there. So. And what about video? Video, we've got an integrated video. So we got uh, dual high definition ports out the back. Mm -hmm. uh, we got display port, DVI, but we can also change those to be you know dual HDMI mm -hmm. for a home you know media center type PC. Um, yeah, it's got integrated uh, graphics chip inside. What chipset? Uh, it's the ATI uh, okay. 780E, I believe. Okay. And uh, what's the price point on this? Do you know yet? Uh, this, retail, this box retails for $849. Uh -huh. uh, we have different power bands we're coming out with that'll range you know, from $350 all the way up to you know, $1,200, $1,300, okay. depending on, on what, what, you put in what you put in it. Twice. Okay. So, very, so, very so what does this one have in it? Uh, this has got a dual core, two gigs of RAM, okay. and an integrated graphics chip. What, what is it? I i five, i seven. Oh, it's a it's a dual core uh, AMD Apple. Oh, it's the older one. Okay, but you'll be able to get, I would assume, an i five or whatever they're what are they using the mobile chipsets in there or the desktop. It's, it's a whole new architecture. Okay. So the architecture is called XI three. Okay. So you can build it. You can build any type of system around this architecture. Okay. Okay. So, and that's it. The whole thing is right there. It's, it's running that. It's running that TV or that monitor over okay. there. Okay. Got one hooked up. If you want to get a shot of it. And when do you launch again? Uh, we're we're going to be full blown uh, production in, in February. But right now we're we're doing. Uh, Kind of evaluation units, seed units into big corporations that are looking at replacing the systems. What's on the front? Power switches, anything? On the front, what do you mean? How do you turn it on? Oh, so the power button's right there? Oh, it's in the back, okay. Like a laptop power supply. Okay. So you just plug a little power, 19 volt. It runs on very little power, so we're saving up to 95% of energy consumption. All external hard drives, I would assume? We can go internal, uh, solid state. Okay. And then we have this proprietary port called X-Media, uh -huh. which gives you kind of limitless uh, expandability options. Solid state drives, wireless capabilities, WiMAX cards, okay. things like that. So you mount it, mount it in the trunk of the car, broadcast a Wi-Fi signal throughout the car, that type of stuff. Nice. Okay. It's a little engine for any type of computer. <laughs> that is pretty slick. Chromium PC. Obviously, you have different colors. Uh, we do. Any, any customization? You can customize it to companies. You know, we can put your logo on it. So I can put bad motherfucker on it. If you want to use it as like an embedded computer or TV or under your TV, whatever you can. It'll actually go in your car. Right? We do a little, uh, basically, one that has WiMAX and Wi Fi on it. We broadcast Wi Fi into the car, the WiMAX the tower, and this you drive in your garage. This? Yep. Basically, see it on your house. You know about the two independent high resolution displays running off the ATI graphics chip? No. Yeah, plus 1080, so you can have a touch screen on one. We'll give you a down shot. So that's running Google Call. So watch this. Take off the sheet. So here's the back plane right here with all the connectors. So this can be independently changed because the, the south bridge is separated from the north bridge. Here's the north bridge with the ATI chip embedded in it with AMD button. Dual CPU. We don't have a CPU in there, of course. And this has room to go and put an ASIC chip, a custom encryption chip, or anything else. Somebody so we can move the components around and redo this. This is a $50 car. Right, right, right. So we can switch that out. And then these are the two. This is the power supply. And we treat this like a server because these power supplies independently cycle up as it goes through. And they take and, and come up independently and cycle up so we don't have any failures. We have a remote 
IR device that will come in and we sit next to that and when it cycles up it sends out a transmit that tells us which boards are coming up, which power supplies are coming up, and if there's a failure on that it tells us which board to replace remotely without opening the gate. You guys have been working on this for a long time. Ten That's years. crazy stuff. Ten years. Okay. So there's there's six patents that are issued. Uh, Covered in 128 countries. Okay. So he did not even start on the design and uh, implementation of it until yeah, after the patent. Yeah, yeah, Why? People steal. Yeah, right. So, you know, when we go to Lenovo, or uh, let's say Lenovo, Lenovo <laughs> we're going to see them. We were at Google last week, and Google says, take it to those guys in China because they can protect you at the government level because they have a government connection. Anybody else you do something there, what's going to knock it off, and then you got to go through the expense of tracking them down and grabbing them, right, like you right, at the top, right, you know? Right, 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 That is incredible. So, two independent displays, you can do it with touch screen or anything else, with the visa mount on the back. Uh -huh, okay. So you slide this on by taking off this end cap, you slide it on and you set. The interesting thing about this whole deal is that you can go with this mounting and do two of these. One for the wall uh -huh. and one for the TV or uh -huh. the display. Uh -huh. now, that's what the hospitals are doing. Right. So they use them in-house. So the doctor comes in, slides his card, the nurse and the doctor enter their data. And then when they walk away, they switch the button and it goes to an entertainment device. Right. So right. it's in-house streaming. Anything else you want.